it's Matty McAllister here. I'm on the move again. Um, I'm travelling from Glasgow over to the east coast of Scotland uh, to the beautiful town of East Linton and I'm going to catch up with Mark Burnett. So just here on Mark's bench is an absolutely stunning new instrument. Don't want to do any big raschiato chords and, and scrape the front of your guitar. So just be careful, but avoid that. Avoid that, yeah. It's like the maker, so I could feel the tension there as we're getting closer to that moment. It's like, don't hit it too hard. Mark, tell us a little bit about the instrument itself, what woods you've used, how you've put it together. Yeah, so um, very traditional uh, Spanish guitar, spruce top, um, Indian rosewood, back and sides. They're stunning, the back and sides just yeah. look absolutely amazing. We'll get some close-ups for you, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really nice piece of wood, yeah. came up lovely with the, the oil finish. Yeah, so you've, you've used an oil finish as opposed to a French polish finish. Yeah, so yeah. maybe explain a little bit about that to the folks because they won't have, you know, they probably just know French polish, I would imagine. Yeah, so um, I, I just, I personally like the oil finish because it gives a really like natural look to the wood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's not glossy and shiny. It's yeah, just yeah, yeah. really sort of clean look, and you get a almost tactile feel as well. It brings yeah. out the colour of the wood, yeah. I think, as well. I mean, I don't know if that's just me as a player, like sort of looking at it, but I always feel oil finish guitars. They are so natural yeah. feeling, like that's you know, the whole idea. yeah, so um, beautiful. I've played quite, quite a lot it's, it's, like that over the years. You yeah, know? it's a more sort of modern yeah. sort of finish these days I okay guess, so. yeah yeah and i've seen quite a lot of guitar makers starting to favor it yeah. as well you know yeah. Yeah. it's very beautiful yeah okay so we've got indian rosewood back and sides we've got the oil finish we've got the spruce top what else have we got going on um cedar neck cedar neck yeah so very nice neck yeah, yeah. 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 just mm -hmm. sticking very traditional um, yeah. and then it's indian rosewood yeah head plate fingerboard yeah. bridge Mm -hmm. Nice rosette, quite a contemporary rosette in style yeah, as well. So, you know? Yeah, that's a new rosette I designed, kind of like a cog, I picture in my mind. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like a gear. Yeah, like gears or yeah. cogs, yeah. Okay, very nice, yeah. Very beautiful. And then that matches with the, the design on the tie block as well, yeah. that's lovely. Yeah. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So, in terms of the last time I was here, it was all in bits. It was, you know? yeah, but it was all all yeah. the bits on the table. Had you shaped yeah. your sides at that point? I think you might have. Yeah. Yeah, so it was all just about putting it together and the assembly. Yeah, it was pretty much, the top wasn't braced. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, there was some bracing to do on the some top. Some bracing to do, yeah. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Um, which all went very smoothly. Okay, beautiful. S seven fans. Seven fans, yeah. And what strings do we have on it today, just for when uh, I'm playing through? Augustine Regal. Okay, Regal's. Augustine Regal strings on it today, beautiful. So I'll, um, I'll get sitting down somewhere else in the workshop now and we'll we'll play a few notes and we'll hear how it sounds. All right. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're going to try the guitar a little bit. I've got lots of bits of cloth and all sorts of things. I don't want to make any marks on the front of your instrument or, or anything. This is a good tip for anyone trying guitars in people's workshops or at guitar festivals. Buttons. I've got my shirt open, so hopefully my buttons aren't scratching the back yeah. of instruments you know avoid zips avoid zips yes unless you want to buy it yeah if you yeah. buy it you can scratch it as much as you want <laughs> exactly um so yeah so we're about to uh, you know explore the instrument a little bit um i've just tuned it up so mark's heard it a little bit um, what are your first impressions just as i was noodling away there it, it, it's very open yeah. so it's um it's alive. It's alive, yeah, for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, and as I was saying to you, I've not 
really heard it played yet. Um, yeah. Strings have only been on for two weeks, so yep. it's a bit of a treat for me. Yeah, well, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, just so you know, um, we're going into a stereo pair of Octava mics, which go through an audio interface directly to the audio software. There's no reverb, and I'm not EQing it, so this is just the sound of the guitar. Um, because Mark's workshop is lovely located on the high street here in East Linton, you might also hear a bit of scaffolding work that's going on <laughs> a bit further up the street. Somebody yeah. seems to be doing... There's some banging going there's on. There's some banging going on. So that's not coming from the guitar, that's just coming from the road. It's very rich, right away. It's very open. Sometimes I think with the oil finish as well, it just has that really woody, open sound. That's lovely. So I'm going to play a few th different things, just a few different extracts from different pieces, just to explore the trebles, to explore the bass, um, the sort of response of the instrument. And what I mean by that is like, you know, when you play, the feedback you get as a player, how quickly things respond and where things are, um, right away from just tuning it up. And, and, and noodling about, it's incredibly easy to play, which is great. So let's just have a little, a little explore, shall we? Really in tune, very expressive and clear. Yeah, beautiful clarity. Really yeah. clear, yeah, well done, well done. I always find the richness to be a constant throughout my builds. Yeah, uh, so you're looking for that rich That sound, rich yeah. sound is something that seems to be present in my guitars. Yeah. So it's something that kind of, I try to keep. Um, and do you think there's anything specifically you're doing that's achieving that or that's 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 enhancing that. You know, you're not you're not looking for something else. You're not sacrificing that quality. What what is it you think you're you're doing? I'm not asking for your secrets. Don't worry. <laughs> Just to get it's a little a, bit of your perspective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a tricky question to answer. <laughs> um, Sorry. It, I'm not entirely sure. Any makers can really pinpoint what yeah. they do. Repeating an element that okay. guarantees, guarantees the richness, the let's richness, say. Yeah. But it's your knowledge of, yeah. oh, I've got this piece of wood. So what about this top particularly? When you got this top, you, what, what were you thinking about when you when you put this top on? You think it's a very good top? What are the characteristics about it that you, you like? Uh, the, the top was very stiff. Okay, yeah. So with a, with a stiffer top, you can bring the thickness down a bit more. Yeah. So it's lighter. of guitarists and their keys. Yeah, yeah. You have to try with that, that low D bass.
instantly totally yeah. expressive. Instantly expressive, instantly really playable, very rich. Yeah. You've done yeah. a great job. Yeah. Well, some extremely uh, lucky and also hardworking and talented uh, person is going to win this this summer. So, um, you know, get your videos in now for that preliminary round. You've got to the 26th of April. Um, and this guitar will be won by one of the finalists come July at the Classical Guitar Retreat. Um, and it's going to serve them very well. It's a very expressive instrument, exquisitely put together. So yeah. congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Um, and I'll, I'll be there on the day to, yes. to, to present the, the Excellent. instrument. Excellent. That's so good, that's so good. And um, it will be beautifully housed in an Alba Guitar Beads carbon fibre case. Big shout out to Alba Guitar Beads because they'll be keeping the instrument safe in a very beautiful guitar case as well. Um, so, just look after it between now and July. Yeah, I will. <laughs> you, know, I will. you can't take any offers from anyone that comes through no, that door. No. Um, you know, this one is, uh, this one is uh, on hold for sure. Yeah, but, definitely. But well done. But thank you very much, Mark. That's beautiful. Well. Thank you.